Hello viewers, welcome to a new Master video. This is, once again, in the case of the HP Vectra VL600, yep, another project. This is more or less my test case. Let's just call it that. Let's just uh, pop the side and uh, I'll tell you what's in it. I can be quite short on that. I mean, this is a PC that has the ECS Elite Group K7S5A motherboard, which I discussed in my previous video. Yep, I built the motherboard into this case, and it's uh, hooked up to whatever. Also got um, the 30 gig Mac store drive in here that I showed earlier in that other video um, with my computer junk and stuff. So there is 5 and 12 megs of RAM on there. Uh, first upgraded to a gig, but it was different speeds, and it's actually limited to that one. So basically, I took uh, the fastest stick, or the, low, the slowest stick, out of there and put the faster one in, and uh, it works now. Um, it turns out that the CPU in this system is an AMD Juron 1.2 gigahertz, 64K level 2 cache. Doesn't sound like much, but the system is pretty darn fast as hell. Um, also stuck the FX 5200 GeForce video card in there. You can see right there, and down there is a Wi Fi card. So there's the DVD drive, or CD ROM, uh, I mean CD, uh, yeah, it's a CD burner, and the two hard drives here 20 gig, 30 gig. It's a pretty darn uh, quick system with this 50 watt power supply, which is actually more than it ever needs, but a little bit of extra headroom never hurts. Alrighty, let's pop the case back on. There we go. Um, yeah, we're going to use a CRT monitor for now. Let's turn it on. There's just not much to tell because I already showed everything about the motherboard. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I'm making a cut after the part with all the motherboard and stuff. and Because I booted it up the first time and I had an error um, because of the Wi-Fi card. It's kind of annoying. So I'm booting up again, I rebooted, oops, uh, on my normal HD screen, there you can see AMD Drone processor 1200 MHz. It's going to boot into Windows XP shortly, there we are, there's my nice BenQ HD monitor, I took it over here, so. Yep, this truly is a Juron 1.2 GHz, booting quite quickly into Windows XP. And it's done, loaded. <laughs> Currently running a 720p resolution because there's no need to run any higher on the, an FX 5200, trust me. Alrighty then, let's see. We have actually a working keyboard because I just filmed it and I was trying to show you a game and then I sort of failed because there was no keyboard hooked up. You know, maybe I'll just uh, include some of the bloopers of this video at the end. I don't know. Might be uh, funny to show. Uh, let's see. Word here. So how quickly I started. This is a fresh boot, more or less. <laughs> let's just uh, open system properties. AMD Juron 1.19 GHz, 5.4 MB of RAM. You know, it doesn't sound like much. And people think, well, it isn't much, but still, you can do some cool stuff on here, like play your older games. Uh, you can use it for office and internet just fine. Flash works perfectly. 480p full screen is not a problem for this CPU. Not at all. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you um, a benchmark on Quake 3 Arena. Turn on time demo, and then show you demo one and play. This way, I don't have to show you uh, frame rates and stuff, or play the game on screen or on camera in this case, because that's not gonna work. As you can see, Quick Three Arena is working just beautifully. Okay, let's pull the results. 79.3 frames per second. 
That's absolutely excellent. That's the limit of the video card, not of the CPU, because I've tested this before in my review on the X800 XT. Check out that video if you want to. And then we got about the same results on a much faster CPU than this one, because that was benchmarked on the Athlon 64 3800, which is miles away from this thing. In terms of raw performance and, of course, 64-bit capabilities and whatnot. Um, just because I can, I'm going to show you some kind of struct source. The system is below the minimum requirements on the CPU side. It requires a 1.7 GHz Pentium 4. Um, you know, this is a 1.2 GHz processor, but you know, it appears to be actually faster than uh, than the P4 because it actually runs pretty well. Don't expect 60 frames per second or like 40 or 50. This is quite a low-end CPU, like I said, but still for this is a game made in 2004 late 2004 early 2005 on a pretty new engine and it works flawlessly relatively like the load times are not, ex are not exceptionally long so let's just uh, wait and see and the system isn't that loud either the only thing you can hear is the 70 millimeter or 60 millimeter fan on there on the socket 462 cooler. It's almost done. Getting ready. There we are. No graphite is rebuilding. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm trying to make the, it a little bit darker. Because there's a little bit of excessive light in here, so. But that's not gonna work. Okay, fine. It run, it's running in DirectX 8.1 hardware mode. Because that provides the best performance before switching back to DirectX 7, which is a bit excessive. But it's definitely a nice little PC to toy it with. Yeah, I've got a thing for these Durons. They were cheap and they were fast as hell. Our average frame rate was 39.97. Excellent, 800 by 600. That's not bad, people. That's not bad. I'm gonna quit the game now. But this is, I think, a pretty good benchmark. I mean, like, you can show the game performance, which is pretty good. So the only thing that's actually left to show, it might be a flash video on full screen. Might not work, might not work, because the connection on using this Wi-Fi card is really crappy, but it's, it's enough to download a little bit of stuff. Um, I don't know what all of this shit is doing here, but I'm just going to click one. Because I'm not logged in at the moment. It's having a hard time buffering. The CPU usage should be. There's another process that's kind of pushing it. No, it seems to be alright. See, this is full screen 480p and it's buffering. Mm. Let's. Uh... I guess it's just because I'm running a high resolution, the video card is kind of... But yeah. I must say, this is a pretty darn fast little system, and um, I absolutely adore Durons, they're absolutely amazing in speed. Um, 
but yeah, this is what basically what I want to show you. The ECS motherboard is actually working pretty darn well. I mean, you can judge for yourself, it's stable enough. Um, I might include the bloopers, and uh, yeah, well, hope you enjoyed this video somewhat, and thank you for watching. might actually have a problem. Let's uh, run a benchmark. Oh. Crap. <laughs> I forgot to hook up the keyboard. <laughs> oh, I'm such a bloody idiot today.